Given up already? Come on, Ven. I thought you were stronger than that. Ven, you almost had him. Just try it again. Hey, wait. You're teaming up now? Ben, you see all those dents and nicks you got? Each one of those is proof you're learning. You're trying too hard to move your body. You need to learn to let your body move you. Right? <clears throat> In your hand, take this blade. And so long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be made. <laughs> What's that about? Who went and made you master? Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Well, you're not the only one. I know. You, me, and Ven all share the same dream.
meteor shower. Why does it seem so familiar? Break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, wow. Here. I get one too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charms shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Boy, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well... That's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection.
Tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. Trust me, you guys are ready. You're gonna clean up with the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. It's like the master said, power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself, and you'll find it there. Hey, uh, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. Together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm?
Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He can take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, Ven. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! <laughs> We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's got to break that loser in. 
Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. <sighs> Aqua. Yes? yes? Now that you are a master, there is one secret in particular you must know. Should anything happen to me, and you find the Legion of Darkness at our doorstep, I ask that you take my Keyblade and use it to lock this land away. What? Generations of Keyblade Masters have been charged with keeping this land safe. Light and darkness exist in balance here, and there are those who would abuse such neutral ground. This is why our predecessors devised a certain trick. Just use the key, and this land will be transformed. From that day forward, all who visit this land will be lost to oblivion, none ever able to solve the mystery. None, Aqua, except you. Ventus. Huh? Who are you? Or you'll never see Terra again. What? Get real! I can see Terra anytime I want. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. There's darkness within me. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. Yes. <laughs> you are indeed strong. The darkness is nothing to fear. Master Xehanort. And yet, how frustrating that Ericus refutes its power. Why, you could train with him forever, and still, you'd never be a master in his eyes. But why? Help me understand, Master Xehanort. What is it that I failed to learn? You're fine as you are. <laughs> Darkness cannot be destroyed. It can only be channeled. Yes. Thank you, Master. And in so much as you are now Keyblade Master, you must always be conscious of... <laughs> what is that? What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Look, whoever you are, you don't know the first thing about Terra. Me and him will always be a team. You trying to pick a fight or what? Now oh, grow up. Is that what you call friendship? You'll never know the truth unless you go out and look for it yourself. Come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here, looking at nothing but what's in your tiny world?
Tara! Very well then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Yes, I understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. As you know, he is master no more, but he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat. One that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the Unversed. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The Unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet, this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the Unversed, and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. May use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Lastly, remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go and fulfill your duty. Yes, yes Master. Master. Terra. Consider this an opportunity, a second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know, I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I, when you are so obsessed with power? Terra. You mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power. An obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. Thank you, Master. I swear, I will not fail you again. Oh. Master, I best be on my way. Wait, Aqua. Before you depart, I have one other, well, call it a request, of the utmost priority. Yes? I told Terra this could be a second chance to show the mark of mastery, and I meant it. However, that flicker of darkness he displayed during the examination, I can sense it runs very deep. If he were to... If those powers were to prove too much for him to handle, I want you to bring him back to me at once. It's for his own good. I could not bear to lose any of you to the darkness. Of course. I would never let that happen. I promise you I will bring Terra back. Only this time, you'll see he has what it takes to be a master. He's not as weak as you think. Tara! Hmm? I, I... It's okay.
mustn't. You have to bring him back. Don't worry, Master. 